Oh. Who? Did he give it to oh, me? Oh, let's gave, go. That's what, what I'm talking know? about. My super producer is killing it right here. <laughs> Looking good, Billy. <laughs> hey, really good, Lewis. So question, for lunch, are we going with the crab crab or the lobster? Uh-oh. Why Ooh. not both? <laughs> trading places. And right yes, now, sir. Hollywood and books have traded places. Man, that was a, cl that was a great that game. Was an instant that was classic. Great. And then we have another one right here on deck. This is great and games this, all day. And this is where Hollywood screwed himself. Yeah. He should have scored. He had the chance. That yes, yeah, yeah. Looking Look yeah. back. Yeah. He, he's going to think about that the entire, the entire way home. Way home. Like, He's going to cry in the car. Mad 17, you got to take your points, man. TYP, you get out, especially right opportunity for six. I understood the first one. I would have not gone to the QB sneak twice in a row, though. You got to stop first. Lights out. Shout out to Lights out. Thanks for thanks for that, man. We trying. What's Lights talking about? Shout lights out. What's good, Lights? The stream is on point. We got a super producer who is the man, and you have our whole crew here. This is championship day. We got everybody in the booth. We're going to make sure that we get everything covered for you guys we definitely appreciate all you guys Petey. coming through Seventeen, fourteen. misery with the rock i mean misery misery on defense scheming halfback wham up the gut nine yard gain eight or nine yard gain right there Second and two, so that was eight yard game. Fourth quarter, you can already hit that two minute warning. Both guys are trying to keep them timeouts, of course. All right, now. Steven. He needs to make sure he gets the most out yeah. of it. Like, you don't want to give Misery another shot at it. We saw Misery in last year's club series. Ish gave him one more crack at it. He moved, he moved down that field so quickly. Someone said, so is Hollywood out. Yes, this yeah, is a this championship Sunday, man. Win or go home. Simple as that. Win or go home. Great oh. run right there with Eddie Lacy. Someone needs to send that clip to Eddie Lacy so he remembers how to run. What are you not going to a buffet? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time. <laughs> Drag in here. What's up, Drag? What's up, Eric? Listen, thank all of you guys oh, for coming wow. through. I thought he was going to be able to make something out of nothing right there. We got NFL games kicking off in just under an hour. I'm lucky we're working today, however. But this is this this is fun today. But however, my Eagles play at four, so I won't really be missing my Eagles too much. I'm loving this thing, man. Misery sending that heat. Oh, he got himself out of position right there. Spin move by scheming. Gained a couple more yards. Got to make that tackle. That was the difference between yeah. third and seven to third and two now. Now it's a lot more manageable. Right in position to make a great play in the backfield. Go ahead. I have a question for you as an Eagles fan, mm -hmm. and this is a question for the whole chat out there. Will Carson Wentz, when it's all said and done, have a better career than Donovan McNabb? Why would you say that? Will he have had a better career than McNabb? All right. So here's here's my true thoughts on that. I think the Eagles, as an organization, learned the mistakes that they did to Donovan, and they're not going to let that happen to Carson. The mistakes that the Eagles made as, a, as an organization was they didn't put talent around them. And because of you that, mean Stinkston and Trash weren't oh, that good. Oh, those were great <laughs> receivers, you know. So it's, to be quite to be quite honest, what you see with Seattle is exactly what was in Philadelphia. They said we had a good running back, Marshawn Lynch for Seattle, and you had Deuce Dudley for the Eagles. That's all we're going to give this quarterback, and we'll give him a tight end, and then we'll just load up on the defense. And Freddie Mitchell, can't forget yeah, Freddie yeah. Mitchell. Thank God for my hands. Like, come on, Freddie. So it was, um, I think the Eagles have learned and they're going to try to put better talent around him and that should help his career. All right, fourth and inches. And as we've seen in the last game, this is not a gimme. Great games all the way around, man. Loving the day. Love this championship Sunday. Everywhere we look, we got great games. 
the venue is, is energized and popping in here, man. Everybody's tuned in. Everybody's focused. Oh, if you guys have an opportunity, if one of these events is in your city, you have to come out and participate with the event. Breaking news. Breaking Skimbo news. Skimbo just sent me a text. Do you realize we could be looking at a joke versus troll game Woo! in the third round if everything goes right? That will be the game of all games. And the history of that. Tell tell everybody what's the history of that right there. These there is no love lost between those two. And you know what? You gotta tip their hat. Joke actually commentated one of uh, Joel's games. He was really, really graceful in the way he really did it. Professional. But when I tell you, <laughs> if the two of them go at it, it it's gonna be special. Okay. Put, put the kids away. Say no this more. Is not, this special. is not for the youth. <laughs> This is definitely for the grown section. So that could be coming up next, is what you're saying. That could be a third round game. Here we go, fourth oh, round. Oh, he, oh, he, he shot went. the wrong gap. He shot the wrong gap. <laughs> Man. All right. He still needs seven for the win. Scheming is not. Well, you know, Skeeman is a basketball player, so he might think the three here is the move. <laughs> and, yeah, you definitely can't do that. Oh, oh, Lord! With the heat. Misery with the heat. Pressure bust pipes. It's time to apply, apply it, it now. now. Shout out, BC. God, is it? listen, man, there's nowhere. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just happy we're back, man. I'm happy this is back in Philly. Let's take it to OT. It's a big coin toss here. Misery versus scheming. You do, you do not want to give Atlanta this ball first. Nah. Okay, you got to right. D up. You got to D up and hope to at least hold to three. Either get him out of here or hold to the three. Because we know Atlanta's offense is potent. Chat, who do you guys like? Brand new quarter, brand new game. One for misery, two for scheming. Brand new quarter, brand new game. Put your ones in for misery, twos up for scheming. So I'm seeing misery. I'm seeing, oh, it's, they're saying misery going to pull it out. Uh, and he's on defense. We'll see. Oh, now we got twos coming in, so it, it, it's 50-50 out there. It's 50-50 out there. Oh, real quick, man, because I forgot something, and I want to make sure that, that I do this. I want to make sure we shout out Bobby Storm for all the years of hard work he put in helping us develop a great Philadelphia Madden community. Shout out Bobby. I spoke to him a couple weeks back. I was trying to get him to, to pop his head in here. Um through the two two days but we didn't have opportunity to do that but i want to make sure i acknowledge bobby and all the hard work he's done in the past for us as well and all and a lot of our older guys baller brown um swami for even giving us this uh, this platform in the beginning so shout out to all you old heads as long as we're around we're going to make sure that you guys are always acknowledged and let the young boys know who actually put this thing out here for us all to do 17 17 second and two scheming is moving the ball all right scheming stay scheming that's a, that's <laughs> a hot song man. hey you wasn't in the gym with him <laughs> you, you gotta get shooting in the gym you gotta get that first down there yeah he, he pulled a gene it's so funny how gene went from being the goat to now the definition of running into your that's your blockers that's the same like the jordan the mean, jordan the gene the yeah. gene <laughs> the gene mean is you running into your blocking. Tyler, look, the kicker getting ready. I wouldn't even bring the kicker out. You got to get a touchdown here. Scheming has to get that touchdown. Good run. He took the wrong side. He had a great hole on the left side. Ran right, right into the coverage, right into the defender. All right, scheming looking to 
keep moving on down this field. What do we have? A lot of different checks. A lot of adjustments here. You can tell he doesn't want to pass this ball. Nah. Oh, he ran. Oh, Lord. He was able to stop and pop that B route running across that field. He was wide open. You wide. You open. can't allow your quarterback to keep taking these hits, though. Nah. Because Russell will, will put that ball. ball. Yeah. He will drop the ball. Definitely will drop that ball. You got to run this rock here. Just shift formation real quick. Flip it. See, this uh, a scheming grooving over there, so he's comfortable. He looks to be comfortable. By the way, Go ahead. I'm one and one of on my rock solid picks. Don't call it a comeback. Yeah. Good oh, run, good, good run. run. Good run, representing the 34. Everybody who wear that, wears that number is paying homage to the original Bo Jackson. I thought you were going to go Walter Payton. Oh, so I'm, I'm in trouble for saying that. Though. Bo or Walter, we definitely got to go Walter. <laughs> definitely got to go Walter. But did so so let's let's do this real quick while we're watching this game. Mike Vick became popular based off of Madden, even though he was great in, in person, um, great on the football field. He became popular from Madden. Bo Jackson. Tech Mobile. Tech Mobile. So who was the better video game? Who, who's better video game? And does either one of them really have a shot at saying, well, I'm not even gonna say it, the best number seven. Could Bo ever be really considered the best number 34? No. Uh, you need consistency over a long period of time. And due to the injury, his career was cut short. I will say Mike Vick was the better video game athlete. Even though even though in Tecmo Bowl you can run to one end, run yeah. to another end, you can side off. Absolutely. And guys, if you guys have on demand, make sure you guys check out that 30 for 30. On Bo Jackson? Bo knows. Now, the question is, was Bo's marketing campaign the second greatest marketing campaign ever? Who's the first greatest? Michael Jordan. Be like Mike. What about John Madden? Because think about it. John Madden is a Super Bowl winning coach. But is John Madden really the legend because of coaching or the game? And I think this game... Now, John Madden is great regardless. But this game has solidified him on. as yes, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Wow! Oh, hands on that ball, almost had that. Would have ended that game. He would have had that opportunity. Just go and, down, kick that field goal, and it'd have been a wrap. And here's where Schemen has to stay focused. You you played great all the way up until this point. You can't throw that jump ball right there. Nah, you just can't. He gonna come off that edge. He coming up. Woo! Chat, we're in Philly, so I need you guys to answer this also. You know Ron's a homer, so we know which way he's going to go. Yep. Is Donovan McNabb a Hall of Famer? Oh, come on. That ain't even a question. That's not even a question to ask. They were talking about Tony Romo should be, could be in the Hall of Fame. So if you could say Romo, if you could even consider Tony Romo being eligible. Do two wrongs make a right? No, McNabb <laughs> is a better player, period. All McNabb right. deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Terrell Owens deserves, should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. Donovan McNabb deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Brian Dawkins deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Donovan did more with less than anybody in Robinson. It, it was asked to do more with less. Hmm. You give him one, one good year, because him and T.O. only really existed for one year. One year with a good receiver, and the man put up better numbers than Brady and Peyton Manning. Do you year. know, un until Peyton Manning won his first Super Bowl, mm -hmm. McNabb actually had better numbers yeah. than he did. And Peyton Manning had Hall of Famers all around him his entire career. Well, you come into a Marvin Harrison, you have Marshall, Marshall Falk. Like, do you understand? Dallas Marshall Clark. Falk is such a bad man that he made, now listen, Peyton is great. Andrew James too. But he, yeah, but he also made Kurt Warner something special. Like, and, come and on, Trent man. And Trent Green. Yes. <laughs> 
So we're not taking anything away from those guys. They were they all were great performers. But you got to understand, a quarterback is like a point guard. If I'm if I'm AI and I'm coming down the court and passing to George Lynch or Aaron Eric McKee, Snow, Todd yeah, and they're throwing it right back to me. There's nothing I can do about that, man. You can't say I'm not helping the facilitator. I'm not moving around. It's, I don't have any any tools with me. It depends on the reason why they're passing the ball back to you. If it's because your goons are outside <laughs> waiting for them, that's a whole different reason. Shout out to Uncle Uncle Greg. <laughs> I was listen. I was <laughs> I was down at a New York Knicks versus the uh, Sixers game, and a guy had floor, he had bought floor seats. He was a he was a New York fan. And he was talking reckless. Greg went, got security, and said, "Yo, get him the hell out of here." They removed the dude. He said, "This, this, and that. Get him out of here." Threw the man out the game. I said, yeah, "Uncle Greg ain't no joke." Got him up, Philly. Come on, misery. What you gonna do here? What you gonna do here? Second and sixteen. Behind the sticks. 25 seconds left, which really doesn't matter because he still gets his whole possession. Scheming locked in. He just needs to stop to end this and win this game. Already our second game of the day, our second round of the day, we have these real tight games, overtime games. Great offensive play right there. Misery is in control of this right now. This is his game to lose. He is picking him apart right now. Scheme is not anywhere near the offense that Misery's yeah. running. He's hoping for some BS right now. He's like, give me that Seahawks. <laughs> I need that Seahawks so love. Hollywood's yo. down. If they lose Scheming, it's going to wind up on AKG and Spot Me. We're going to find out how Spot Me did. And Figgy. Bum, can we get an update? Spot Me, and Figgy. Figgy right there. Ask Figgy and Spot Me how far. Are they still in it? you still alive? Oh, right there. All right, Figgy is still in it, and I believe Spot Me is playing right now. Greatness all around us today. All around in the scheming game. It's, they're saying the scheming game to, to lose. Oh, oh, that's it. Soldier. Good game. Good game, Misery. Scheming. And misery likes company, and his company is moving on. <laughs> yeah. Great game right there.